This is the premier seafood buffet spot in LA. If you want crabs, lobster, prime rib, all under run roof, this is it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am here in Los Angeles, in Universal City, at the Hilton Hotel, because I'm gonna be checking out a buffet I've been to in the past, oh yeah. I am back here at Cafe Sierra. And in case you guys don't know, Cafe Sierra is the most popular Vegas style buffet that you can find in LA. And when I was here last time, I was here for their lobster dinner menu. But I heard that since then, this lobster dinner menu has improved significantly. So this is the video. You must stick all the way to the end up because I'm gonna show you the grandest buffet experience that you can find here in Los Angeles at Cafe Sierra. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna check out this buffet line to see what is new on the menu. So this buffet runs on Saturdays and Sundays. They do have a brunch buffet, but you should come for dinner time because that's when they're gonna have the most extraordinary items on the menu. So it runs for $149. As you can see, it is very expensive. In fact, it is the most expensive buffet that you can find in Los Angeles. I don't think I've even found a buffet in Vegas that was that expensive, wow. But I'm assuming they have a lot of good items here tonight, right? So I'm gonna start with the cold seafood section. That is the raw oysters. And look how big they are. They're so big. Some of the biggest I've seen in the buffet. And those are, I think it's Peruvian scallops. It looks like it, I recognize it. Okay. And that right there is shrimp cocktail. Does come with some of the Tabasco sauce, as well as some cocktail sauce. And look at this, a whole pile of Snow crabs, all in that metal basket. Yeah, they really pile it high. Exciting. And to the right, lobster claws. Oh, a lot of lobster claws as well. And you got your lime and lemon right over there. And look, they got another kind of crab. They got the Dungeness crab. Wow, that's so much Dungeness crab. All you can eat. Melted butter too, so don't forget your butter when you get your crabs. And then when you move along to the right, you get to the hot food section, like the lobster thermidor, which I had last time. So this is the lobster they were most known for before, but now they have other lobsters and I'll show you that in a bit. And then that is the bone marrow. All right, we got some of that brisket or braised beef on top of the bone marrow, very creative. And Cajun shrimp boil. Yeah, some potatoes, shrimp. Uh, yeah, a lot of assorted stuff in there. And this one is the Frito Misto. So it's like breaded, fried, soft shell crab, catfish, squid. And to the right, crispy pork belly. Oh, every time I hear that, I get so excited. Look how crispy that thing is, amazing. And jumbo scallop linguine. So if you are into linguine and scallops, they got it here. And they got some New Zealand lamb chops. Nice, if you guys like lamb, they have big fat pieces here. And then we got some double whipped mashed potato. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, this would go good with something like this, which is their filet mignon. I don't think I saw this here last time. And guys, this is the very big attraction tonight. So this is the other lobster I was talking about, the one that's in the, the shell. Oh yeah, so this is really what you want to be focusing on when you're here. Some whole lobsters and look at that king crab leg that's in the bottom. And did I tell you guys that this buffet includes all you can drink alcohol, like champagne, beer, wine. Isn't that incredible? And mimosas. Mimosas too. Wow, even mimosas, look at that. Yeah, you think I should get one guys? Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, yes. They do have live music here too. So you're gonna get food, you're gonna get some entertainment in a very gorgeous environment. Perhaps if you are at Universal Studios theme park, you could come on over here for dinner time and have a luxury dinner, right? Mmm. Wow, I'm off to a good start already. That horseradish is pretty strong. It's almost like having so much wasabi in your mouth. Oh, by the way, they do give you this so that you can put your shells and all your, you know, garbage, I guess, in there. But then I'm also excited to try some of this scallops, okay. Mmm, that was pretty good, Joe. 
I mean, scallops always a winner for me, so I get it all the time. Yes, they do give you these crab crackers at your table so that you don't have to use your teeth to break them. That's a good thing, right? Oh, look at that. That's the juicy meat inside. And remember, get your butter with these crabs too because I think it's going to add a lot of flavor. Indeed, that is pretty good. Okay, this is the snow crab. I've had this like dozens of times at these buffets. Oh, wow. That snow crab is really good. I think this is actually better than the Dungeness crab, at least for this restaurant. It's so sweet and has a lot of meat inside. This is what buffets are all about, these crabs. I mean, after all, you're paying $150-ish, so might as well. You just got to get as much as you can, right? Fill this thing up as much as you can. Mm-hmm. That's the whole piece of that king crab leg. Nice. Mm. Yeah, that is pretty amazing, too. So far, what I've noticed about these crabs, it has so much juice in it. A lot of juice. See, I'm not gonna even pass up on my shrimp cocktail as well. Look how big these shrimp pieces are. Yeah, I could totally eat like 20 of those too. It's so crunchy, so fresh. Love it, love it. I did tell you that drinks come with the menu, right? Such as my mimosa. Mm. Haven't had a mimosa in a long time. Wow. Yeah, this is the real deal. They're pretty much giving you everything as part of the menu. Lobsters, crabs, drinks, you name it. You see how fun, much fun you could have here? This looks like it could have came out of a very nice seafood restaurant, like a la carte seafood restaurant. This is a beast. I mean, I, I, I just can't believe how big these are. I, I never thought I would find a lobster like this in any buffet. This is really taking it to another level. But then again, you are paying $150 for this, right? So yes, it's a good thing they do cut this for you right up there so it's easy to eat. You don't have to spend all that time breaking it apart. Mm. Okay, I can already tell best lobsters I've ever had in any buffet. It's so fresh and so crunchy. That is pretty amazing. And it's all you can eat too, guys. Isn't that so crazy? I mean, look at this. Wow, look at that, how big that thing is. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm very excited? But yeah, you gotta put some of that butter in as well. Mm. Best lobsters I've had in any buffet so far in my life. I know it seems pretty dreadful having to pay $150 for this experience, but once you taste it, you're like, Okay, it might probably be worth it after all. So when you come to this buffet and you pay 150, I really suggest max out items like this to get your money's worth. So if you want your greens, they do have it here. Caesar salad, as well as that other, uh, it's kind of like a spring mix salad with strawberries and feta cheese, I think. Okay, looks good. And that one, Mexican agua chile. Okay, so this is shrimp. It's supposed to be kind of spicy, has some cucumbers. It's a cold dish, very refreshing. And that right there is a wedge salad. Angry mac and cheese. That is a really cheesy looking mac and cheese. And that one is the grilled broccolini along with some salmon with miso glaze. Looks like they got some pizza here too. So this one's kind of running low. I think it's the uh, pepperoni pizza. And this one is uh, cheese pizza. So this is the uh, Parker rolls. Yeah, they got some rolls too, along with some butter. Looks pretty fancy. Korean style short ribs. Yeah, look, they even have Korean influences at this buffet, nice. As well as lobster claw with black bean sauce. Wow, those whole lobsters aren't the only things they have here. They even have this Chinese style one, as well as with Ginger crab legs. Check this out, they even got dim sum here too. So you got some custard buns, very nice, good for desserts. And then we even have this one, which is the barbecue pork buns, chashu bao. Uh, kind of a filler food, but they do have fried rice, like the leek scallion garlic fried rice, as well as Sichuan beef and broccoli. Ooh, they have quite a bit of Chinese dishes here. Well, if you want, they have oranges here as well, but I don't think anybody's really gonna get that, right? 
See, even more Chinese food. They have honey, walnut, shrimp. I do see some of those pineapples there. You guys see it? Looks pretty good, right? As well as some spring rolls, which is Chinese egg rolls, and some fried dumplings. Pork shumai, we got that. See, more dim sum. As well as, what's this? Ooh, sha long bao, juicy pork dumplings. And look, they even have a build your own sushi station. So you can get like the tuna rolls, yellowtail, and some octopus, salmon, and look, California roll, spicy tuna roll. This is definitely the sushi section. We got the soy sauce right there, as well as some ginger, uh, let's see, wasabi, and I guess those are the cups for your sauce and wasabi. Plenty of chopsticks as well as seaweed salad. And this is the assorted sushi section. Uh, these aren't labeled, so I can only take a guess what each one is. Uh, this is some sort of a tuna sushi. And this one is salmon. Uh, let's see, there's cream cheese inside. Okay, I'm not really a big fan of cream cheese, so I might skip on that one. And these are the inari, which is uh, outside, I think that's like tofu skin, and inside is filled with rice and spicy tuna for this one. California rolls, okay, with salmon rolls too. Uh, another sort of a salmon roll with cream cheese inside. Look at that, it's like a pink colored soy paper. I've never seen that before, not even in a sushi restaurant. And I think that's like spicy tuna in the center. Can't get enough of those lobsters, yes, let's do it. Oh, that bone marrow looks so fancy. Whenever I hear crispy pork belly, it's like, yeah, you gotta come with a very big appetite. But so far, it's been a really wonderful night. Compared to that other lobster I had earlier, you know, the big one in the shell, this one is actually kind of a little bit underwhelming. Although the flavor itself is pretty good, but I think quality-wise, that one is much better. That's really what you're paying $150 for. But hey, people still love the classics when they come here, since this is kind of like old-school Cafe Sierra. I think this one's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully I'm right. So it's like a sweet, spicy, kind of a thick gooey sauce. I didn't actually expect that. But I just like it for the fact that it's soft and it's crispy. Anything pork belly, it's like, yeah. And I cannot leave here without trying my bone marrow too, right? Wow, that is bursting with so much flavor. I think this is the first time I've had bone marrow that had like these short ribs or some sort of braised beef that's over the top. So you do taste like the, uh, you know, like the stringiness of that beef, but then at the same time, you taste the fattiness of that bone marrow. I think it would be pretty cool if I had some toasted bread on the side so I could put this over it. It will be so awesome, right? But then look at this, lamb chops. Yeah, do you guys like lamb? Now, me personally, I don't get lamb chops that often. If you like lamb chops, and yeah, they have it here for you. And what I like about these lamb chops is it's so big. It's like a really huge piece of lamb chop. Lamb chops aren't cheap, so I guess here's another expensive item that you should take advantage of. See, what I love about this buffet is that they have every kind of meats here as well. You see, they got the filet mignon, and I didn't even get this stuff at that carving station yet. It's still to come. That is fantastic. So it's like a very tender piece of filet mignon. And it's kind of spicy too, because I think I ate some of the, uh, woo, I had the jalapenos, yeah. But this should kind of cool everything down. Some agua chili, right? Mmm. Tastes very similar to the agua chili that you have in Mexican restaurants. This one is spicy, yikes. Oh, that's why you gotta have your mimosa ready, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. But whenever I get like filet mignon, I always have to have my mashed potatoes on the side or some sort of potato. Whoa, these potatoes are like some of the best things here at this buffet. So far, I am impressed with this buffet. Second time around, I feel like I've discovered a lot of new things already. And this is the glorious meat carving station. We got beef rib right there. And that is the prime rib. Look at that. Look how juicy that looks. Oh man, that is so insane. And then we also have the porchetta as well. 
And look, they even have barbecue pork too. And I heard that this is honey roasted. So it kind of has like that sweet flavor. But then look at this crazy mandarin roasted duck. And I heard that there are real Chinese chefs who made this in the back of the kitchen. Yeah, so this is as authentic as it gets. Oh, look at that. Look at that sauce. And for sure, you gotta have your au jus. Since I'm here, might as well try some of these kind of lobsters too, right? You know those lobsters, they really do you in. It's really that big. Um, I can't rave enough about it. That's really the main reason why you come to this buffet, especially on Saturday, Sunday nights. But I want to try some of this prime rib too. Mm. Very juicy. I mean, it's not on the level of like, for example, going to Lari's prime rib, but for buffets, especially here in LA, you don't find prime rib that often. And this is very reminiscent of the ones you find in Vegas, which is pretty awesome. Mm. Be sure to get the au jus because that adds so much flavor to it. You see, can't get enough of that lobster. Got to do it Chinese style too. Mm. I still very much prefer that one that's like in the whole shell. So yeah, that's the one you really got to focus on. Look at that. This is the biggest piece of duck I've had in my whole life. I have never chewed into a duck that's like this big before. It's almost kind of gross in some ways, but the flavor is good. Don't get me wrong. It actually tastes like a roast duck that you find in a Cantonese restaurant. Almost like it. Yeah, so they do have some pretty legit Chinese food here too, actually. And this is the incredible dessert station. So we got the creme brulee, which is made in house. So yes, I am definitely going to get it. You bet. And they have all of these assorted cakes too, like this chocolate one right here and this other one. So these aren't really labeled. So I guess you're just going to have to try it based on the way it looks. You see, looks pretty nice, right? Oh, I think those are uh, Oreo cookies on top. And they do have a lot of these assorted cakes up here and these are not labeled as well. So you're just going to have to kind of guess what it is, I guess, before you eat it. Yeah, they all look so good though. Really, like I want to eat all of them. And you have to have your fruits as well, right? Pineapple and we got some cantaloupe. I feel like if you did just all you can eat buffet on the desserts, like have your whole meal on it, you can really go through a lot of it and still not try all the choices. That's how many of these dessert selections are up here. Uh, more assorted stuff. I mean, sorry, I cannot tell you exactly what it is, but you get the picture. There's like a lot of desserts up here, but at least I know what this one is. That's the bread pudding. That's really good. And then some cinnamon rolls as well as uh, churros with lots of fruit on top. And look at that display of donuts right there. So many donuts. Like you got the red one, you got the simple glaze and you got the chocolate one. Isn't that so cool? Even more cake. I mean, it just doesn't end with this dessert station. And guys, this is really the coolest thing in this dessert section. So you can make your own crepes or your ice cream. See, those are all the toppings you can put on your ice cream. You got almonds, peanuts, M&Ms, sprinkles, uh, coconut, you name it. So the whole idea is that the ice cream is supposed to really solidify. So right now it almost kind of looks like whipped cream. But then after a few minutes, this thing turns really hard. So you can put whipped cream, chocolate syrup. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah. And with your ice cream, you could get it with the cup, but you can also get a sugar cone with it too. So just letting you know there are options. One of few buffets I've been to where you make your own ice cream and you can put all the toppings inside. I bet a lot of the kids would have fun at this buffet. I mean, if you're willing to pay that much money for your kid, right? Mm. Seriously, it hits the spot. It almost kind of reminds me of having like a hot fudge sundae, even though it's not hot, the chocolate, but you know, like the taste wise, right? Okay, this one I'm the most excited to try. Mm. It's good. It's very thick though, you see how big it is? So you're gonna have like a lot of that cream in your mouth. But the top, it, it has that crispy layer on top, just like you would find with any creme brulee. It's awesome stuff. It is expensive, $150, but they treat you like a king. 
They go all out with the lobsters, different kinds of crab legs, even all you can drink as well. So definitely, like I said, keep your focus on the things that are worth it here, like the crab legs, the lobsters, uh, even the alcoholic drinks. Yeah, you're gonna really have a fun time here. So remember, Cafe Sierra here at Universal. So come on over and have a fun time. I'm gonna finish up my desserts. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.